Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are we happy in the presence of God? We thank God for another year. We thank God for our life. We thank you for everything. Our praise. Can we please rise? Let's start appreciating God for giving us this opportunity to enter into another year, 2023. It's a great thing. We can't do this by ourselves. It's only the grace of God. There are so many people who are out there, they are not able to see this year. But we thank God, we find ourselves in the presence of God. It's a joyful thing to find ourselves in the presence of God. Let's lift up our voice and start appreciating God. Thank God for what the Lord has done for you throughout the year 2023. Now, today is the first day of 2023. Let's lift up our voice and start appreciating God. Let's thank God for his blessings, for his guidance and protections. Let's thank God for the life of our families and loved ones. Let's thank God for the job. Let's just continue to thank Him for everything that He has done for us. He's a great God. He's an answer God. He's a God that will call upon the answer prayer. Let's just thank Him. There are so many people we are able to see this year. There are so many people who are in trouble. Some are in critical conditions, but we are still alive. We are still alive among the living. It's a great thing. It's a joyful thing. Let us lift up our voice and start praising God, appreciating God for what He has done for us. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we glorify your name, we praise your name, O oh God. We give you all the glory, we give you the adoration. Lord, we appreciate your goodness. We thank you for everything that you have done in our life. As we are able to gather here again today, the first day of the month of January 2023. Heavenly Father, we praise your name. We thank you for your strength. We thank you, God, for your protection. We thank you, God, for your goodness in our life. We thank you, God, because you are a faithful God. You are a righteous God. There is no one like you, God. I give you all the honors. I give you all the glory. I give you all the adoration. Blessed be your name because you are worthy to be praised. There is no one like you, God. You are the God of today, the ancient of the day, the rock of the ages, O oh God. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the giving the food you put in our table. We thank you for the financial blessing. We thank you, God, for the gospel of Jesus Christ, your heart. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O oh God, for the life of our loved ones. We thank you for this ministry, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for the members, oh God, who are working in your vineyard. Heavenly Father, we appreciate you, God. We honor you, God. We can't do this by ourselves. Heavenly Father, we pray unto you, oh God. May you continue to bless us as we have entered this new year. Let this new year be a year of blessing in our life, a year of growth, a year of blessing. Heavenly Father, we pray, O oh God, empower us this year. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Use us mightily so that we can endeavor ourselves to walk in this vineyard, O oh God. Heavenly Father, help us to build a strong relationship with you. Touch your children's their hearts, O oh God. Heavenly Father, I pray unto you. You are the only God who can do it. There is no one like you, God. Even those who are on their way coming, oh Lord, have travel passing upon them, oh God. You be the GPS of the cars they drive. Let them come here safely, oh God. We thank you for our loved ones. We thank you for our friends, oh God. Heavenly Father, we continue to thank you, oh God. We praise your name. We lift your name above everything. As your children say, humble themselves before you this first Sunday, the Holy Sabbath day, oh God. I don't know what they are going through. I don't know what their situation, oh God. Even viewers all over the world, Lord, hear their prayers, hear their supplications, oh God. Open your eyes, oh Lord. Heavenly Father, I pray unto you. Hear our cry. Heavenly Father, your children are crying unto you. There are so many atrocities, so many disasters. There are so many afflictions all over the world. There are so many people who are out there living in the flesh. They don't know you, oh God. The children are perished, oh God. Heavenly Father, intervene in our situation. Touch your children. 
Turn their heart, O oh God, so that they can receive you, God. Heavenly Father, I praise your name. We give you all the glory. We give you the adoration, O oh Lord. We recognize your presence this morning. We recognize your presence this morning. You are so faithful. You are so kind to us, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, I pray unto you. May your will be done. May the blessings of God continue to shine upon us, O oh God, throughout the days of our life. We pray for growth, O oh God. We pray for increments in our life. We pray that to oh Lord give us the strength so that we'll continue to worship you, O oh God. And the areas of our life where we are lack, O oh God. I call upon you today. Heavenly Father, give us that strength. May there be a change of heart. This is the new beginning, O oh God. This year is the new beginning. I start calling upon you, O oh Lord. Every difficulties, things that we didn't accomplish for 2022. This year is our year. This year is our year. Work signs and wonders in our life. Work miracles in our life. Help us to grow spiritually, O oh Lord. Help us to build strong relationship with you, oh God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your blessing. Thank you, oh God, for the help. Thank you, oh God, for everything that you have done for us, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to lift up our voice and pray very well. This year is the years of new beginnings. Let our prayer life need to be improved. Whatsoever you have lacked, you need to have a personal relationship with God. Let's lift up our voice and start confessing our sins. I don't know what you are going through, but commit yourself in the hands of God. Confess your sin. Whatsoever struggle, whatsoever challenges you know you are going through, this is the time you need to come close to God. This is the time you need to confess your sin. May the Lord have mercy upon us. Let lift up our voice and pray. Heavenly Father, we call upon you, God. Your children, they cannot hear with one accord. We we'll have prayed for your mercy. You are a merciful God. Heavenly Father, have mercy over your children. We cry for your mercy. Let your mercy never cease, O oh God. Cleanse us away from my iniquity as you say in your word. He say, as long as you come before me and stand and confess your sin, it is righteous and faithful to forgive you, Lord. Heavenly Father, your children are here crying out to you. They lift their voice before you. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy over my family. Have mercy over the entire congregation, oh Lord. Even viewers all over the world. We stand as a God to have mercy upon them, oh God. Everything that has been holding us back, Lord, we pray for speed in our life, oh God. We pray for speed in our life. Have mercy over us. Have mercy. You are a merciful God. You are a forgiving God. Oh God, there are so many atrocities in the world. There are so many disasters. There are so many rebellions. Oh God, see the world today is full of wickedness. Lord, I pray you can intervene into the nation worldwide and pass over your children. Children are perishing, oh God, because of their living in the flesh, because of their heart. Lord, I pray unto you, oh God, touch those souls so that they will come unto your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to lift up our voice and pray. I don't know for you, but my heart is full of joy for me to see 2023. We need to pray very well. This year is a year of new beginning. Let us lift off our voice and pray and ask God for the Holy Spirit of God for directions. Let God direct us. We can't do this by ourselves, but through the grace of God, through the power of God. Let's invite the Holy Spirit of God to be with us in our life, in our area, in our education, in our career. Let ask the Holy Spirit of God to direct us in every area of our life. Holy Spirit of God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we recognize your presence this morning, this Holy Sabbath day, O oh Lord. Holy Spirit of God, we invite you, direct us 
us, O oh God. Come and be with us. Fill us with your word. Fill us with your word. Holy Spirit of God, I recognize your presence. We need you, O oh God. Come and take control. Holy Spirit of God, use me. The woman of God is going to preach the word today. Heavenly Father, as we hear his voice, as we hear your word today, we cannot just live it like that. We will accept it, O oh God. We will apply it in our life. I pray unto you. Let the Holy Spirit of God manifest. Come and walk signs and wonders this morning. Come and walk miracles in our land. Let there be changes, O oh God. Every obstacle, every deviance, every stopping block, every embargo. I pray unto you. Let the Holy Spirit of God manifest, O oh God. We need your manifestation. We need your direction. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I know you are here today. As you said in your word, we are to your God. I will be in your presence. I will be in your midst, O oh God. Holy Spirit of God, you are highly welcome to this service, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to hear the better. Amen. Let, let our hearts full with joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's lift up our voice and cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Cover our life, cover our finances, our resources. There is a power in the blood of Jesus. Let's cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Cover the entire service this morning with the blood of Jesus. Even the word that is going to be preached today, O oh Lord, is being covered with the blood of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we pray unto you, God. We have been covered with the blood of Jesus. Even viewers all over the world, I cover them with the blood of Jesus. There is no barrier in prayer, O oh God. Heavenly Father, I pray to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover every instrument, every prayer point is covered with the blood of Jesus. We take total authority over this morning, oh God. We cast every serpent and scorpion, oh God. We sit on top of our enemies. I pray unto you, Heavenly Father, this environment is being covered with the blood of Jesus. Our lives is being covered with the blood of Jesus. Those who are on their way coming, they have been covered with the blood of Jesus. I cover every enemy. Every finances is being covered with the blood of Jesus. We know there is a power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, God. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, eternal Father, we thank you, oh God. We recognize your presence this morning. Lord, as we are able to come here, you give us the strength, you give us the grace. We are able to see the first Sunday of the month of 2023. Lord, we commit this year in the hands of you, God. Let there be growth. Let there be blessings. Let there be divine favor. May your manifestation will be done into our life. We pray for good health, O oh God. We pray that we will seek you diligently. We pray, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that we have a personal relationship with you. Heavenly Father, every area of our life we are going through. Lord, we surrender all unto you. We give you all unto you. Have a way in our life, O oh God. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for everything that you have done. We appreciate you, God. You are a faithful God. You are so kind to us. This is all we ask in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In the morning, I will lift up my voice. In the morning, I will direct my prayer and look up to God. Deuteronomy 28, 1, 68. And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, be careful to do all His commandments, that I command you today. Whoa. The Lord your God will set you on high above no all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. If you obey the voice of the Lord your God, blessed shall be the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your herbs, and the young of your flocks. Blessed shall be your basket and your kingdom boy. In John 1, 1, 14, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, 
and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made to him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shined in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. We are going to pray for prayer praying today. Today is 2023, the 1st of January. We are going to thank Father for a new new year, new beginning. Let's appreciate God for this new year, new beginning. Let's start opening, appreciating God and open our doors to 2023 for a great beginning. Let's start appreciating God. Let's start thanking God for this great day today that we are able to make it. Others are unable to see this great day today. Let us be God, we you, God, we you, God, we you, God, we Thank you, God, thank you, Heavenly Father. I surrender all to you. I give yourself all to you, Lord. Lord, have the will, God, in our life. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your strength. Lord, we appreciate you, God. We are able to see another year in our life, O oh God. May your will be done, O oh God, for this new beginning, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. May your will be done. May the blessings of God continue to shine upon us, O oh God. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you all the honors. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Praise your name, O oh God. Surrender myself unto you. For new opportunity, new things in our life. Thank you for your blessing, O God. Thank you, O God, for the life of our families and loved ones. Lord, I put on you, O God. I recognize your presence this night, O God. Father, we thank you today. Father, we thank you today. Father, we thank you today. Thank you, like I don't have this by myself, and through your power, through your intervention, O God, we thank you for the in our life. Thank you for your blessing, O God. We 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 thank you for your blessing, O God. Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we honor you in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We are going to tell Father, thank you for sustaining grace that helped us through 2022. We are in 2023. Let us go for that sustaining grace that brought us to this here today. Let's ask God, let thank God for that grace that brought us here today. Let thank God for sustaining grace that helped us from 2022 to 2023. Let us thank God for sustaining grace. We pray, oh God, for your sustaining grace to see this here, oh Lord. We pray, oh God, for your sustaining grace to see this here, oh Lord. We pray, oh God, thank you for sustaining grace in the life of God from the day to God. Thank you for sustaining grace for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you for sustaining us, oh God. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for the life of our friends and loved ones. Thank you, God, for
Good morning, church. Happy New Year. Same, Same to you. Yes. Um, let's listen to the announcement. Early prayer is from 9.45 a.m. to 10 a.m. Church service. Every Sunday from 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. Monday meeting. Every third Sunday of the month from 12.30 p.m. to 1 p.m. Bible studies. Every Tuesday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Midweek series. Every Wednesday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Prayer meetings. Every Tuesday. Every Thursday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Night vision. Every last Friday of the month from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. Evangelism. Every Sunday, every Saturday, every member is encouraged to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. OPM is encouraged every member to be on time for church service, Bible stories, and meet and meet series and prayer meetings. Every member is encouraged to contribute the need funds and the building funds as you continue to have the Lord will increase your tenfold. Please every member are encouraged to silence their phones and limit movements while the preaching is on as you continue to respect the kingdom of God. You will be blessed. Testimony time. Be it Yes. As we all know, it is not easy for us to enter 2023. Most people are dead. So many of them that we are watching to See 2023. So please, we need testimony. Bring it down. Not testimony Bring it down. from the week, from last week or any bit. We need the whole year testimony in the church this first of January 2023. I want to testify to the goodness of God in my life from January last year, 2022. To the last day, which was yesterday. That's why. I just want to thank God because God has brought me from January to the end of the year. I never got sick. No. So all the sickness that the enemy planned from the beginning, I got sick last week. But I just want to thank God because for every day travel masses, everything that we do that I believe in the entire world is spiritual. We cannot be able to operate things on our own if God is not present. So because of that, I just want to stand there and appreciate. Just as you said, others cannot even make some people to jump one minute. They were dead in 2022. But because of the grace of God upon our life, we are able to see this great 2023. So all God has done in 2022 is a lot. If I stand there to start talking, I will not leave this place. Lot of accomplishment in the things of God. Lot of accomplishment in my own life. Lot of accomplishment in my, the life of my family. God has done so many things from the beginning of January to where we are. So I just want to appreciate God and I want to give all glory back to God because he kept me alive from, 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 the, from premature death, from accident, from atrocity, from and blood sucking demons from many from spiritual attack from physical attack you name it so many things that we christians go through that not anything we can say spiritual attack you will notice that they sell arrow you will notice about that arrow you fight spiritually 
We have seen it in your job, maybe out of your job, in many ways. So for us to make it without you crying that this is what bothering me, we have to thank God. I just reflect back to the guy that I talked about in the, in the past previous preaching, that he was living his life, everybody look at him like a role model. He would dance for people on Instagram. People enjoyed the family unknowingly in his mind. He was planning suicide. He was planning suicide. That's why I encourage everyone. We need to call each other. We need to check on each other. We need to know what is going on. Because somebody will be walking dead. We don't know. A lot of us. And we need to know more about Christ. Wow. That man was dancing. He was giving, entertaining people while in his own life, inside within himself, he was dying. Nobody don't know he was dying. He died before 2023. With all that achievement, with that wife, those children, with the life he was living, people were even praying to live, to be like him. They don't know his life in, within himself was miserable. So we just love, we just need to appreciate God. Even the people around us, even our loved ones, even our families, whether good or bad, we need to appreciate God for keeping us alive together up to this 2023. I just want to appreciate God for all he has done for myself my loved ones, my family. I want to give all glory back to him. And as we have started January, we want to see speed in this year that God will bring Omega Power Ministry bigger than the way it is. I want to see we, us move for, from this, from this uh, um, room that we are into another location. And I'm, I'm grateful to God for just these members that are in here. I see something, I see many great things in them. I want to appreciate God for the dedication that all of us have done from the beginning of January to where we are today. I want to thank God because this cannot be my making. It's the making of God. If somebody don't hear the word and don't want to hear food, you cannot, you cannot push the word of God. It's good for somebody to hear it and, and, and accept it. Then we can move. So I want to appreciate every one of us that is here today for the time spent from 2022 to the ending. And I pray that God will take us somewhere 2023. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Testify what the Lord has done for me. My testimony is going to be on <clears throat> Apostle Paul in Ephesians. He said the foundation of the church is built upon apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. And now the gospel of Jesus Christ does not base on one person, it's a unity. That's why he called apostles, prophets, evangelists, they come together to build up the kingdom of God. I thank God for my life and I thank God for the entire congregations who are sitting here today, even viewers all over the world for their dedications and commitment by serving the Lord. You know, for us to see this year, 2023, it's not by ourselves, it's through the grace of God. Let's look around and see how many atrocities, how many innocent people have died, too much violence in the world. You will leave your home, you go to work, before you come back, something else happens. We are not better than those people who are passing away, those people who are in prisons. Even when you are working, it's only take the grace of God. You don't know what else is going to happen. But I stand here today, I just want to thank God for my life and the life of my families who are back in abroad, overseas, Africa. There is no bad news. And I just want to thank God for the wonderful woman God bless me that God have called in these five years to preach the word. And I pray that this is the Lord's work. And the gospel has to preach. And this time around, I encourage each and every one of us, let's focus and have a personal relationship with God. 
I know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, is the Redeemer. As we seek the kingdom of God, everything shall be added unto us. I know as we continue to do this, have faith in the Lord and put our trust in Him, all shall be well with you. I know this to be true and I live with you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Please. Can we have another testifier, please? Yeah, um, I just want to give thanks um, to God Almighty for taking us from 2022 to 2023. Um, without God, there would be no forgiveness. Um, but God never happened. 2022 have been a year of peace, love, achievement for me, my family, my friends, my neighbors, and my co-workers. And we pray that 2023 will be a year of grace, a year of love, a year of peace. And we all also give thanks and praise to God for protecting us every day during 2022, taking us to work, bringing us home, in our daily activities and in whatever we are doing. I say thanks and praise to God for the love He has shown to us, our families. And I pray that this year we bring peace in our family, in the life of our church members, in their families, in their homes. And I pray for, for long life for my pastor here so that he can she can continue to preach the word of God. I pray. Um, this year is going to be a year of happiness because I'm going to be a grandmother. Amen. 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 So, Amen. I pray, I can't wait for that day. Oh I God. pray and I pour the power and the blessing of God upon the woman of God and her husband. Amen. 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 Yeah, please. I'm going to testify. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank God for this wonderful moment. I mean, it's a blessing to be able to see this year. The year 2022, at the beginning of it, it was a rough year at the beginning. And as more we look towards the end of the year, I see so much blessings, so much of progress, so much of, um, of knowledge. I got to understand a lot of things around this particular place, for this place, this country is so difficult. So I got to understand a lot of things. God oh, showed yeah. me a lot of visions on how to, yeah. to deal with situations, on how to deal with certain things. I want to thank God for that, and I pray that this year, came to it to be as we go for the blessings that we started mm -hmm. by, by the end of this year to be continued mm -hmm. to the end. And I thank God for the life of my friends and my loved ones, my family, mm -hmm. and for those here in this church. And I just want to pray that God should continue to guide mm -hmm. and protect each one of us. And I just want to thank God for the life of my friend. Earlier this morning, earlier this morning, I had a vision. I had a vision. I saw in that vision, I was in a vault. Like, there was, the place was dark. Like, there was, like, nothing there. And there was all, all over the floor was water. There was water all over the floor. And I was being barefooted. So I saw three people that were sitting on the chair. They were sitting on the chair. And they said, they were drinking. I saw these people they were drinking. So suddenly someone just came behind one of the one of these people that was sitting and when he had he had the dead ear, there was all hairy. And the person ears was like very long. Suddenly the person mouth opened, one of the people that was sitting mouth open, and that person went through the mouth and went to the other person going. So the person started, the person get up and was floating. He was floating, and suddenly he stand up. I don't know what happened. Then I was running towards them. When I was running towards them, it was like the place was like really hot. I couldn't go through closer to them. And the minute I forced myself, the place was cold, and I get closer to them. The person took a knife. I don't know where the knife came from. I was stabbing one of them. I was stabbing one of them. The minute I shouted, Jesus, all the place just just. just it, it just changed from black to white, mm. and I just wake up. That, that was it. And when I wake up this morning, a friend from Cameroon texted me that the staff is brother from Cameroon that is at the hospital, and that everything is just a minor one from the face and the chest. 
And it, I just want to thank God that I don't know probably what happened. I don't know what happened, but I just want to thank God for the life of the brother. And I pray that God will continue to give him more strength for him to sustain his life and more blessing. And he was, she was fine while he was moving to me. I just, I just thank God that what I saw, it was, it was something that I know that God has a plan for him. And everything has, everything has been well for him. So I just want to thank God for that. And I pray that God continue to bless the family and continue to guide him. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God should sure. to guide and protect us from you. Jesus' name. Amen. Do you have any other testifier? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what I have to say is that, dear brethren, um, is an advice. Uh, we, it is not when the church has a number of people that is when you find anointing there. It's not like that. The church can have five people, two people, he has an anointing. Uh, that's what I've discovered in this particular church since I discovered the church. Because I was just attending church, but I never knew what is church. Yeah, I never knew what is called spiritual. That is spiritism. So it's in this church I discovered that. Uh, and it's, it is something we call spirit. So, dear brothers, um, I would like to say this. This church is a small church. But I would like we who are the members of the church to be committed to make Amen. the church grow. Amen. Because we should not say uh, the, the church is a church, this Madame Rose church. It's not Madame Rose church, bro. There's never one person who owns the church. The church is a group of people. That's how God says. It's a house for everybody. It's not for. So we should be committed. Like this, uh, uh, this 2023. We should be committed more than what we, could be. we were committed in 2022. So I pray that God should give us that strength, Amen. that wisdom for us to, to, to go about things of God in this particular church. Amen. Yes. As we all are going, please you want to try to encourage your friends, neighbors, yeah, to worship with us. It was in the world. We don't say uh, their own church is not a good church, but at least try to invite friends. We should do all our possible things. At least the one, once the one can get to you, we should get a new member in this church. Amen. So that's what I can tell you. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, why from um, the scripture with this? Brother, I brought uh, Thanks for coming to worship with us. Come again and invite friends. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm uh, reading this morning from uh, the book of Isaiah, <coughs> Isaiah 65, uh, verse 16 to 24. Isaiah 65, verse 16 to 24. That he who blessed himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth. And he that sweated in the earth shall swear by the God of truth. Because the former troubles are forgotten, 
and because they are hid from mine eyes. For behold, I create new heavens and new earth. The former shall not be remembered, nor come to the mind. But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem, and joy in the people, and the voice of weeping shall be no more heard, in the voice of crying. There shall be no more thens and infants of days, nor an old man that hath not filled his days. For the child shall die an hundred years old, but the sinner being an hundred years old shall be accursed. And they shall build houses, and habit them, and they shall plant food there, and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build, and another inhabit. They shall not plant, and another eat. For as the days of the tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall alone enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth trouble. For they are the seed of the blessedness of the Lord, and they are offspring of them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. This is the word of the Lord. to do 
immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout the entire generation forever and ever. Amen. So number one, say Christ live. Live in Christ. This 2023, what we are going to look into, we need to live in Christ. Christ has done his part, died for us. Now we need to live in Christ. So we are looking at this book of 2 Corinthians 5, 17, that say, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. And the old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. This is a new year. Our when people say, I want to make my resolution, we are not talking about losing weight. We are not talking about lifestyle. We are talking about spiritual. What is our relationship with Christ? What is our relationship with God? If we did not able to make last year, but this year, we should make it a priority. Our priority number one is God. He said, therefore, if anyone live in Christ, you are new. All old things. So every old things that we are 2022, this is 2023, everything about us should be new. If Christ was not included, we need to make Christ number one. The man said, this particular time, let's increase our movement with the things of God in this church. We need to improve ourselves in the things of God. We give so much to the things of the world, but in the things of God, we give little. God said, when you work for me, I will go before you and work for you so much, you don't have to struggle. Some things in life, we suffer too much to get. When the Bible already told us, it said, when you seek the kingdom of God first, what else? Everything else will be added. When you look, when you, it tells us in the Deuteronomy, 28, what did he say? He told us, he said, everything will come. He said, and if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, be cheerful, careful to do all his commandments that I command you today. The Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. If you obey the voice of the Lord your God, Blessed shall they be in the city, and blessed shall be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of the womb, and the fruit of the ground, and the fruit of the cattle. The increase of your house and your fruits. So many blessings will come. That's what he said in Shalom 28. So many. But when you fail to follow God, there is another cause on top of it. We see some of this thing, the petition, it comes in our life, but we ignore. These are God causing us because we to follow what he said. He said we will obey his voice. One day in the house of God is nothing to God. One day is nothing. We need to increase our time for the things of God. We need to increase. We're not talking for ourselves because for me, I'm indebted to do this. Whether I want to do it or not, I have to. I'm just speaking on behalf of others. We need to make time. We see it as if it's difficult, but when you start committing yourself, you will see a lot of things that you're worried about. That worry will, will just die. Your life will not be worrisome. You will see how God will work. It says, so therefore, if anyone is in Christ, you are a new creation, the all has gone. Absolutely love this. I love this entire person. So we need, it is important to remember that this coming, this year, no matter what, our resolution is we need to change our habits in towards the things of God. We are not talking about activities. We are not talking about losing weight. We have to say goodbye to some things in 2022. 2023, we need to take a new habit. What we were not doing towards God, we need to step in. When some people, we look at some people, we see greatness in them. We see blessing in them. We see many things. When you go, they will tell you the secret. They will tell you one of the secrets I pray. One of the secrets I make a lot of sacrifice in the house of God. Nobody would make sacrifice in the house of God and cut us off. If we speak it, people will not understand. But once you start doing it, 
You start dedicating your time. You look at so many things. You say, you know what? I am going to take two days just in the house of God. So many things that we think is not in this house to get done, but you get done. At times we have to run early in the morning to go set all this. At times we have to run early in the morning. At times when he get up from work, he will be running from work just to go set up all these things, just to sweep in here all by himself. He will run from work do this. These are some tasks that somebody will take that task, and you start seeing things in your life opening over there. He will run from work. I will be running me to run from work for us to get everything set up. We need to make the time for the things of God. I am doing mine. He is doing this. Tomorrow when we are dead, when he's gone, I might not know him. He might not know me. He is working for his own salvation. He's not working for mine. I am not working for his salvation. I'm working for mine. He's working for his. The only thing God just blend us together to do this salvation together. And I thank God for his life because God did not bless me with a man that will be sitting down, don't move. Even me as a woman of God, he will drag me. When I sit down, he'll be looking tired for the hard to. It's two minutes to seven. It's three minutes to seven. I'll be telling him, let me go get this. He said, let's go, we are getting late. I thank God for that. Because if I was getting somebody just like me, that would, that would not look tired, we will be running to church every day late. But he will drag me. So I thank God. So the things of God, if you don't have somebody that will be matching you, that will drag you, this job, I tell God, I say, even here, you, 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 I return back. You say, go be pastor. Give me the same husband to be with me. Because it's not an easy job. It's not an easy thing that I will get tired. He will push. Because this job, God job, you will see five people sit, sitting before you. But you have to commit, you have to do. I thank God you came with a topic that everybody should commit themselves. So this 2023, I want to encourage everyone, no matter when they say many are called, few are chosen. Even the few that are chosen, you don't do right. God will judge us. Because everybody in this room has a calling. This 2023, let's make use of our calling. I am standing I'm so much in the spirit. I'm seeing this man praying and say, ah, God, what this man was wasting time for? I said, this man has a big calling. The calling needs to manifest. We cannot let the devil just hold us in one place. The devil knows that we have so much God has placed in us that we have to give to people that need. So many people need this that we are doing. This is the time. We need to walk forward. We need to stand forward. Look at this young man talking about vision. God is speaking to him. God is speaking. I was expecting to to Mr. I said I was in trance. I was in trance. I saw so many things. I start saying, am I sleeping? Or am I up? Or am I just laying in the bed? But I knew I was not laying. But when the phone rang, I pick up. Just to what side of the morning, I know I was not sleeping. God showed me so many things. I said, ah, God said this 2023. Everyone need to change. I said, but we are He said, no, we are not in 2023. He said, this 2023, this from January to the beginning to the end, is still 2022. I said, ah. He said, because everybody needs to change. If everybody don't change. He said, even the age of guy there in heaven, they are doing the same thing you guys are doing. He said, I see some of them down with their feather. Some of their faces. They lay down. God has sent them down on this earth. He said, I will send it to them down there. They are dead. You see their wings. Then I see the Lucifer crying for help to God. I told God, said, look at him. I said, ah, so Satan is begging you to. He said, yes. He said, I want you to tell the world, not for popularity, but tell the world that I am ready to destroy this world. Every bisexual, everyone that is gay, everyone that is lesbianism, that told themselves, he said, I will destroy the man. I was in trance and said, ah, is this sleep or God is talking? These things, I was seeing them in my vision. God is showing me these things. I was so scared when I lay. I was not sleeping when I was up. I saw these things. I said, ah, he said, everybody. And when God did it, people start coming to give their life to Christ. I remember the guy, and I said, oh, came and gave his life. The guy in the news, he's a gay guy. He gave his life to Christ. Within that time, God said, by this time next month, you're going to have a wife. I saw a spirit came out of that man, fell in the fire. On this earth, where I was laying, 
I see so many people gave their life to Christ. God said, I will shut this act. I saw darkness. I was laying down. Nobody was moving. He said, by the time all of this come out, it's the people that give their life. This entire land I will destroy. And that's the destruction. God destroyed the land. The land was darkness. We were not going nowhere. He said, I was shot everywhere. Everywhere was shut down until people give their life. When we came, it was a new creation. A new act and a new effort. That's what I saw. So we need to walk towards this. This is not the time for someone to, to say a, a dream or a vision. People take it lightly. God is ready to destroy so many things. We are seeing some of these things when people give this vision. They say, I'm a pastor. Talk. No. Some things, if God don't use us to talk, we will not talk. Me, I will not talk if I don't see. My husband will know that one. Anyone that I see, I have to say. When I say, Years later, it will come to pass. So we need to stand. He said, even the one that are doing what I say they should not do, I look at all these people, I created them in my own image. You go, you add one thing on your body. You reduce one thing on your body only if it is medical. If it is not medical, you add or reduce. He said, those ones, he will not forgive them. He said, no way, even when they repent, he will not forgive them because they have done something to his image. Those one will go to hell. I was looking and said, ah. So yesterday when I had the Saturday, I talked about this. The Holy Spirit said, but why are you limiting? God said, talk. I am afraid. He said, you have to give this message in every preaching. I am encouraging everyone. What I saw, nobody will be able to understand that. But when you lay down, God showing some of those things. You'll be gone in a way. He said, I don't want to see. But my eyes saw so much. Not this only country. The entire world. It started from Nigeria where God got it to destroy. The first country that I saw was Nigeria. Before I saw this country, we need to hold God with two hands. Because the judgment of God is already at hand. We don't want to face that. So, I, so this is new year, new time. Everything that we are doing, let's give for God. When you do all that for God, God will do 200 for you. You don't have to suffer too much. Some things that you are doing that you think is small, God can just turn it around for you. That's why I said, so much increment in my life, even us that is sitting here, is increment. For us to come here, from the beginning, every day we're here, it's not packed. But I tell you, the grace of God is in here. If you cannot see, if you can walk, God is blessing you so much. Things are happening. It means God is here. We are not running for crowd. But if the crowd comes to you, we love it. So this year, let's focus every old habit that is not of God or of God. That we are relenting to come for prayer meeting. That we are relenting to come to gather for Bible study. It's very important. Let's try to make it. This is a new year. New thing. New me. So I want us to look at and first Peter one thing is a praise God. Now we live in Christ. When we live in Christ, we do everything as Christ. Now we are going to look say praise God. What does it mean to praise God? First Peter one three. He said, Blessed be God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his mercy, by his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope to the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. Let's see. What that is trying to tell us. Let's see what he's saying. So this new year that we are embarking on, that we are already in, on true life change, we need to have a true life change. We should get ourselves into a true, humble position for the things of God. We are looking at the things of God and say, ah, this is a small church, and don't worry. Maybe this church is uh, First Peter 1. Chapter 1, verse 3. We are looking at this. But maybe when you go heaven, this is one of the church Jesus is looking at. He said, the day I enter, I will enter here. We need to start with a truly humble position, start of the year, with a spirit of praising. How many of us have the spirit of praising? How many of us have the spirit of prayer? How many of us have the spirit of giving? How many of us have the spirit of charity? How many of us have the spirit of forgiveness? How many of us have the spirit of love, caring, and repentance? You 
can name it as we go. This year is a year of humble praise. Praise is this year. I mean, of us, we need to have that spirit of praise. No wash again. 2022, we have washed so much. We should need to stop to wash. Take your time, get up for you and praise God. Take your time and pray. Take your time to give charity. Take your time to read the word. Don't pass a day without looking in the world. We have to have the spirit of forgiveness. This is a one-time world. I was watching a news the woman said the world is too wicked. How people will be using violence, taking God, killing people that don't do anything to them. Because the world is wicked. The power of the devil is so much. It's so much in his hands that he can do whatever, using young ones to kill. So the world that we live is a wicked world. We Christian that know Christ, these people don't know. We need to love one another. And that love, we need to carry it on to others. Because if we are not able to do this, the same wickedness in the world will come and creep into us. And then you are no more a child of God. You are no more a Christian. Rule number one is praise. Number two is prayer. Number three is giving. So many souls are out there. So many people are out there that need charity, that need giving, that need prayers, that need love, that need caring. Above all, he said we need to repent in many ways. He said too often we are quick to try to throw our past away. And then we move to another year. When this year comes, we say, you know what? I draw this. I'm going to live to a better year. But the problem here is our mindset. Are we focused? Are we ready? Are you ready to restart? Are you focused? Did you remember your past? So we don't want to do something. Then we have failed. We fail. And it's not enough. So we need to reflect. Evaluate yourself 2022. Who I was and who I want to be. You cannot just throw those bad habits away. It's difficult. Some people make a resolution, they come back, they do the same thing. And after four years, they look at their life back and say, ah, no changes. It's the same thing. They cannot change. No better. The time now they want to die is when they will make changes. It's late. God is a massive God to give time. We know the word. God tells us the world is not in heaven, neither on the water. The Bible is everywhere. Nobody can say I cannot read the world. We need to make time. The only changes that we can, we can be able to accomplish is by reading the world. This Bible, when you meditate day and night, is easy to transform you. It's easy to change you. It's easy to correct you. When you go so deeper in the world, you will be able to make correction yourself. You will read some word, you will see the word and say, this is for me. You easy, it can easily transform you when you continually dip yourself into it. It's easy to, to correct you and you can even use it to teach others when you need this word. It is important we start a year by praising God just what we did to him. Just what we did. Not too much of us, but we did it. It is an amazing victory today I see that deliverance will come in this ministry. I know God is ready to take this mission to a peak. 2023 is a year. So once the greater things we can do, let's continue to praise God. Not only for victory, but let's praise God. Let's worship. When we come in terms of worship, let's worship or let's do what is right. Let's make this year a year of different. We all started, all of us within this house, we knew each other 2022. I know this year is going to be better. I thank God, I always have thank God for the life of all of us that is in here today. I thank God. God brought all of us together for a reason. He cannot just do things because he wants to do. He said, I will come with, with sheep that you can shepherd, that you will sit, they will shepherd you. And that's what I'm saying. With what I had in that prayer, that's what God is telling me. He said, you will sit down and watch them. They walk. The work that you have done all these years, they will even do it more than you. We need to encourage each other in the house of God. God's work is not competition. This one standing here talking is not competition. 
we just need to encourage each other so that we can grow together. What you know, you teach me. What I know, I teach you. We all come together, we grow. In areas that somebody is falling, leave that person so we can go. This is our goal for 2023. We have to make this ministry larger. He said when you are coming, take your neighbor. When you see a friend, invite. Let's start inviting people. Let them feel the things of God. Some people are lonely. I watch a news. I see one lady sitting down. Our entire hair was like this. They said this is depressed. This is what. They give them all of their names and look and say, ah. So all of them were in, in the point of suicide. So they were just showing us the picture. When somebody is in, in, in a depressed mood, that, that mindset is different for me and you. It's not thinking I should want to judge or who to talk to. The next thought, the devil said, kill yourself. What are you waiting for? When I saw them, I said, these people need a religious therapy. Somebody that can speak the word of God in them. It works. It works very well. All of us can be down. I can be down and call my spiritual mentor. He will say, open the Bible to this. When I open the Bible, he say, read this for me. When I read, then he will explain. When he explains, he says, see what I'm saying? I say, yes, sir. He say, let me pray. He pray. You don't have too much talk. He releases us, then we are gone. I sit down and I say, ah, why, why do you know this Bible verse before? Then I will go over and read it. He will tell me, say, my daughter, I read it over and over. So, well, after I done reading it, he took that body out of my heart. And I felt so good. So those people don't have what we have. Because if they understand the word, they will go, but they don't understand. All they know is to kill themselves or talk with it. So people will look at the entire world and say the world is confused. I don't know what is going on. All I want to keep myself and go. Where there is a God that is ready to walk us through. We have so many people that are going through a lot. Let's encourage others. Not only people in the church. Even your neighbors talk about Jesus to them. We all find ourselves they don't want to listen. But some people, once they see they are getting breakthrough from where they are to where they are going, they will even want to hear more. Let's encourage them the word of God. A piece of paper, type the word of God. Dump it in somebody's mailbox. Every day you talk one, somebody's reading that. You don't know you are healing somebody. One day somebody will watch to see who is putting that paper. Immediately you come out and say, who are you? Who God? Tell me your God. What is the name of your God you explain? That's how you can drag some people to the house of God. So let's encourage others this 2023. Let's make a tax of evangelism about the things of God. The next one is being new. We should be new. Ephesians 4, 22 to 24. It says be new. Ephesians 4, 22 to 24. Can somebody read that, please? He said you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupt by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your mind, and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. So this now, this is new, be new. We have to be new. These scriptures 
we look at it, it encourages us to realize that we are truly a new creation. Every year, we are a new creation. No matter what you have done, 2022, we prayed, we asked forgiveness, we have bitterness for others, we mad at others, we, many things, we argue, we did so many things. That's 2022. This is 2023. This is new. We have to be new. Every old thing, and when we look at this entire scripture, we realize that we have done so many things that we truly a new creation. This world is encouraging us not only realizing that we are new, but to keep ourselves from skipping back into those old things. When we, are, we took ourselves out of those old things, we cannot, we encourage, we pray that we cannot go back to those old things. We need now new things. The old habits. He said, let's come. Let us make time for the house of God. These were all habits that we had. We don't do it. So let's try our best this new year. All those old habits you cannot go. So people that, that drink, some people that do so many things that is not favored with God. Those habits, this new year, 2023, we are trying not to fall back to those habits. I kept myself to say, God, things that I used to do 2022, I said, ah, I cannot go back. Once this is 2023, I have to change my perspective, way of thinking, my mindset, way of doing things, way of lifestyle. I have to change it. Because I don't want to fall back to that old habit. I know. So that's what this reading is telling us. We should pray and we should keep ourselves from slipping back into that old ways. We all live in a fallen world. All of us are fall until the end when Jesus comes and make all things new. So for now, we have to live in it and not to comfort our own lives. This can be difficult to do when we are told to live in a certain way. It contradicts us when we are in the ministry, we say we are born again, and they start telling us we should live righteously. It contradicts the way everyone around us is living. The world where we live, so many people are living different lifestyles. In this country, you can, if you start to drink, you can drink, but everything is free. People that smoke, they will smoke. I was listening to, to Papa uh, in, in, in Nigeria, what he said. He said, how you will use your money? To buy cigarettes or smoke, cigarettes that will end up killing you. How you use your money to buy alcohol to drink? He said, alcohol will kill you. He said, don't use your own money to buy these things that will kill you. Use your money to buy other things. Because when you drink to excess, it kills you. It's not a poison. When you smoke, you are smoking into your lungs to kill you. So some of these things, when we don't know the things of God, we, we disregard them. But when you know some of these things, when you free yourself from them, you are giving yourself a long life. That's what he was, he was saying. So this scriptures, this scriptures is telling us not enough to just say we are done with our own lives. But we need to put on, put them off and put on a new life. Whatever is our resolution towards God, life is about action, not words. We need to do. People have been saying this, I will be doing this, I will be coming to church, I will commit myself. It's just words. Let to the action. Actions speak louder than voice. He it says it's enough to tell yourself you are done with the old, but you have to take action and be done with it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For some of us, this means removing ourselves, even if only a short time from situation. That encourages us to put on ourselves, our own self out. Some things we need to remove. Even a situation, even a friend, if you know that friend is going down that way, if you can remove yourself for the better, Remove yourself for that short while. Maybe when you take yourself where you're supposed to be, that friend will follow you instead of you follow. So we need to, we have to determine to see what we are looking for in real life change. Sometimes it takes time. Sometimes you have to do more. Sometimes you have to move because if you don't move, you will not be able to take that. You have to cause yourself to stop on and cut it off and throw it away to make that changes. The things of God, I will tell everyone, is not an easy thing. Your entire body, your mindset, you have to put it inside to be able to do it. If you are not able to put that your mindset and bury it in, it's hard. You'll be looking at this, you say, I have to go to work. 
You'll be looking at this, say I have hours. You'll be looking at this. You're looking at the money and looking at the same time God. He said, if I don't, why would I pay my bills? Well, I already, the Bible said, test God. I have put God to many tests. If everybody can test God, you will see. So we have two more to go. He said, give control to God. We look at Jeremiah 29, 11. What he says? He said, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and to and not to harm you. Plans to give you future and hope. So about the coming new year, we need to let go and give it up to God. He has plans for us. How many of us are making plans and then leave that plan to God? Our own understanding is not enough for the understanding of God. Even business plan, you want to marry a woman, you, you see a wife that you want to marry, you want to go into business. Everything, we need to put everything into the hands of God because he's the only one that has the plan, not us. He said a plan to prosper and not to harm us, a plan for future and a hope. So this new year, God is the only one who knows all things and what is best for us. It can only be hard in some situation to rely. So let's let go of our control. But this one, the only thing we need to do is to take our expectation to God. When I used to go to Mount of Fire, I would write my expectation. Many of those expectations I've met. Some have not, but all that I used to write have met. Even the one that I did last year, all that I asked God to do, He did all. Maybe one or two that was not done. I know when God is ready, He will do. So let's put our expectation. Let's give control to God. Let's not do things on our own. Many things that we have done on our own is not working. He created us, He knows our plans. Not only does he know the plans for he has for us, not only those plans, but good one. But the scripture says the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. The least God can do is greater than the most we can do. We need to keep this in mind that this year that because it is easy for us to start gaining something when we are living in Christ and just as quickly start to think that we deserve any of the credits, this take us back to remember, to give the glory to God. Everything God has done, we all give testimony. We start talking about what God has done for us. Everything that happened to us is not us, it's God. And everything is spiritual. Sitting in that car driving is not you. So many people are driving roughly. We ask God for travel masses. People have left their house. Immediately they go out to the street, they are dead. He said, but he was here just now. So every credit we need to give to God. Above all, this reminds us who he, who is, who he is really. And he is sitting on the throne and who deserves the credit. God knows all things. For he is you. This year show me you believe that by letting go and lay all at his feet. Everything. Learn to put everything and trust God in everything you do. We human, he created us, but we don't talk to God, we do things. He said, I will not let you suffer. When you know me, you will not walk up and down. When you know me, you will not suffer. When you know me, let everything in my feet. He knows our plan. We make plans for ourselves. He said, 2024. Some people have made plans for 2024, but they are not even here 2023. Some people made plans for 2023, but they are dead. Some people kept money for 2023. This is what I, I want to do. They are dead. I want to encourage everyone. No matter what you do, you cannot leave the house of God dry. Let, let, let sponsor the house of God. Let, let make the house of God at least something that when somebody enters, the church will say yes. The people that are here, let, let, let them see riches in you. Even when you don't have it, let them see the riches in you. We cannot come in the house of God empty handed. At the same time, we cannot come in the house of God with chicken change. We need to do for the house of God. So by doing all, 
let's commit all in the hands of God. Yeah. Let God work it for us. So give control to God. That's what Jeremiah 29 said. God knows the plan for us, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper. He give you future and a hope. So there's a future and hope. But all we can do is let God work for us. So our last thing in this is a live for the moment. We have to live for the moment. We are looking at James 4, 13 to 15. James 4, 13 to 15. Can somebody read that for me, please? Because life, everyday life is a gift. 
and she be treated in a serious way. When we talk about New Year, we talk about the things of God, that's number one. So he said one of the greatest resolution we can make this year is to be conscious of every moment and use every moment to glorify God. Every moment we have, let's conscious of it. Let's glorify God with that moment. Let's use that moment. For most of us, when we think of glorifying God, we think of religious things. That's what we are saying. But we can glorify God too. Everything we do, when we intentionally do it, with it in mind. For everything we do. So this particular year, let's put it in our mind. If God has given us the grace to see 2023, let's make 2023. Every bit of it, we have to write something. I did this for God intentionally, in your mind, put it in your mindset that this that I am doing, I am not regretting it. Everything that I did 2022, I will tell you, I never regretted it. I'm here Tuesday, we never miss a day. I'm here Thursday, I never miss a day. I'm here Sunday, I never miss a day. Every Saturday, I will go online to preach. It's not something that easy, but I never regretted it. He said, if we honestly give movement up to God and focus on glorifying Him, it will keep us from stumbling and it will lead us to produce good fruit. Before we fall, once we keep glorifying God and we know that this that we are doing is for God, we will not fall. We will not stumble, but it will lead us into to produce a good fruit. So let us make this year the year where all of us will truly decide to be living. Let's make sacrifice for this ministry. Let's surrender all to God and let's move and care for our faithful creator who is God. Let's enlarge ourselves for the ministry. We need to think a lot about the ministry. What does ministry need? What can we do for this ministry? Let's do things that glorifies God when it's in heaven. Okay, I will decide that, you know what? I will do this for the ministry. I will pay the bill this month. I will do this. What do you think I will do to do? Let us eager, let that eagerness be in us to say today, this is what I want to do for the ministry. I don't believe in asking someone to say, so I seed, or give this type of seed, or give this no. I want that to come out willingly in within yourself to say, this is what I want to do for the ministry. I want to bless this ministry today. God has given me so much, I want to give back to God. It don't come to me. It still come inside the ministry to us. I want somebody to do that. So lastly, in this session, allow growth. We talk about growth today. Let's allow growth. We are looking at Hebrews 12, 10 to 11. Hebrews 12, 10 to 11. Yes, 12. For them verily for a few days, chasten us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now no chast no chastening for the present seemed to be joyous but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when we look at Hebrews 12 from 10, in this order, he said they, they discipline us for a little while 
as we taught best. But God disciplined us for our good in order to make, um, in, order, in order that we may share in His holiness. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. So we have seen what the living said. We are talking about growth. The good we are talking said later on it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. This new year should not only be a year of glorifying God with all we do, but also a year of growth in Him. Yeah. We need to grow in different areas. Bible study, we need to grow. We sing, we learn it to sing all of us. We need to grow in that area. Playing the organ, we need to grow. Many areas that we need to grow, we need to emphasize on that. He said, this, this, discipline is necessary aspect of growth process. The scripture above speaks of how our Heavenly Father disciplined us as spiritual children, just as our earthly Father disciplined us when we are physically children. The way our parents disciplined us the same way God did. So this year, every time we face trial of many kinds, we need to rejoice and stay focused on the outcomes, not the plan of the process. Everything we do about the things of God, we need to focus. We know that all things work for, 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 for the good of those who love Him. So as we face moments of God's discipline this year, focus on the strength you will have when you preserve. Mm. Let, let's find an area where we cannot go. Let's go. If we cannot meditate on the Word of God, if we are not reading the Word of God, in those areas we are falling, we need God. If I will let yourself sit in your own quiet time, where do I need God? He said, you know what? I don't read the word. But I will make it a point of duty. I will try to come to Bible studies Tuesdays. If not every Tuesday, so okay. I will try to make it one, twice a month. Okay. Where do I need God? I need God in praying. Okay. I will try to make prayer, uh, come to the prayer meeting every Thursday or twice a month. Where do I need God? I need God. In other areas, you look those areas, you plant yourself and need good. We don't want to be doing the things of God at the end of the day. We fall. Then you said, some people get mad at God because they said, I have tried all my best, but God is not doing it. Well, our best is not enough to God. We need to try more. I want to encourage everyone that is here today. Everyone that is here today, I want to encourage everyone. We need to try more in the things of God. We need to do more in the things of God. We need to do beyond and above. The areas that we need God, let's do. And I want to encourage everyone this 2023. Let be the kingdom of God. Let be a kingdom builder and explain that the other time. We know that at times we look at what we have. When we get paid, we are afraid to take out of it. We say we cannot take. But this is all what we have. The kingdom of God is this ministry. This is the only ministry we have to support. Let us not be, be coming to the house of God and we want to give whatever we want to give. I want to encourage everyone. Give something that is coming from your heart. When, even when you lay down on your bed, you say, yes, I did this today in the house of God. I gave God today. I blessed the ministry. I used to do that when I used to go out of fire. I would bless crazily without even looking back. I was not doing it as if I was trying to show off or have so much. No. Because that's what the Bible said. It said when you give with your mind, you give. When you give so much, you will just know where increase is coming. Many things that I was going through, God will just show forth. God will just show forth. When we do these things, it might not come physically at that time. Money might not come at that time. What you want might not come. But the time that you don't even think is when God will show forth. I want to encourage everyone. Areas that you are falling, start getting up. We need God. We need God in our tithing. We need God in our collection. We need God in our offering. We need God in planting this ministry. What we need to do. I want everybody this year, start thinking in your mind, what can I do for this ministry to grow? And you yourself, how can I grow in this ministry? As we continue to do so, it shall be well with us. As I have shared this word today, I want us to Go and evaluate all what 
is taught today and then let's put it in our minds seriously and see what we can do 2023 for ourselves and this ministry as we continue to do so. It shall be well with us and our children in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I pray that we will not only be a hearer of the word today, but to do out of the word as 2023 has brought us good news. Let this good news be in our hearts and the hearts of our loved ones. I would like everyone to please stand so we can pray the prayer of salvation. We are praying the prayer of salvation. We know a lot of us struggle in different areas. We are coming this prayer of salvation with viewers all over the world, those who are struggling with the things of God. You pray this prayer. You look for a Bible in the church and go there and surrender yourself. It shall be well with you. He said, Lord Jesus, I confess my sin and ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take control of my life and help me to walk in your footstep. Daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father Lord, renew me, refresh me, strengthen me in this 2023. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We wish everyone happy birthday worldwide. Those who are celebrating their birthday this January 1 today, may God increase you. May God bless you. May God open doors. And all that you are praying in your mind, may God make, may God make it manifest. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we please rise and stretch our hands over the man of God for the sermons that have been preached today? As we hear the message today, this is the time we need to have a personal relationship with God. Come close to God. Spend your time in the house of God. Oh God, eternal Father, we thank you. We honor you. We give you all the glory. We give you the adorations for this Holy Sabbath day. We thank you for your word that has been preached today. We should not just be the hearers of this word. Heavenly Father, continue to use the woman of God mightily. Increase her knowledge of understanding. Continue to protect her. We pray that she will be able to preach your word and bring so many souls unto your kingdoms. Lord, we give you all the honors. We give you all the praise. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. That will lead us to our offerings. The day after, we we'll go straight to communion. Today is the first Sunday we have to partake of the communion. Go to the tithe and offering.
please stretch our hands over the offerings and the tithe. Oh God, eternal Father, with gratitude of hearts, your sons and daughters, the hungry God, are before you. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O God, for this Holy Sabbath day. We thank you, O God, for the offerings and tithes that will bring unto your presence. We pray to you, O God, those who bring their tithes and offerings unto you. Lord, we pray for your blessings abundantly in their life. Let there be increment, O God. They will never lack what they desire for. Multiply abundantly in their life. Heavenly Father, I pray, O oh God, for all those who are not able to bring their tithe and offerings at this point of time. Open doors of blessing for them. Amen. Let there be increment. Let there be growth. Provide for them so that they will be able to build up the kingdom of God here on earth. Amen. Lord, we stand on those promises, as you said in the book of Malachi. He said, bring them into the storehouse. I will open windows of blessing for you. Amen. There will not be enough room to store those blessings, O oh God. Heavenly Father, Provide for us, even viewers all over the world. Bless them, multiply in their life. Let there be increment in our job. Raise, O oh God. This all we ask in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. That will lead us to our talent offerings and our communions. I will pronounce the blessings of uh, the communion. O oh God, eternal Father, by the power and authority of the Mechazeli priesthood which I hold, bless and sanctify these communions for the souls of all those who drink of it. Heavenly Father, we commit this communion in the hands of you, O oh God. We renew our covenant with you. We pray unto this communion, O Lord. Every sin that we have committed, Lord, have mercy upon us. Cleanse us away from iniquities. Renew our mind, O God. Heavenly Father, as we renew our covenant with you, for the first Sunday of the month of the year, let there be great blessings in our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. O oh God, the eternal Father, by the power and authority of the Methodist priest to which I hold, bless and sanctify this communion for the souls of all those who partake of it. Heavenly Father, transform these communions into our body. As we partake of this communion, O oh Lord, we renew our covenant with you. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. I will place the waters and thereafter uh, 
the man of God will give us the final prayers for the service today. If you turn around, there's a lot of waters around you. You can have the waters and maybe fears all over the world, wherever you are. You can lift up your waters and I will pray. There's no barrier in prayers. The blessings of God will reach wherever you find yourself. Oh God, eternal Father, bless and sanctify this water for the souls of all those who partake of it. Heavenly Father, breathe unto this water, oh God. Transform this water into the blood of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, as we partake of this water, let this water be a water of fountain that will bring peace in our heart. Lord, every sickness that we have, we never knew of, as we partake of this water, let there be instant healing take place. Everything that we have been praying for that have made a deliverance in our life, Lord, let there be a turning around. I pronounce speed in our life. I pronounce speed and growth in every area of our life. Everything that we desire for, Lord, as we partake of this water, let that be a testimony. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I will not turn the rest of the sections to the woman of God for our final prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father will not harm us, neither kill us. Amen. We pray wherever we 
step, we step there at the right time. Amen. Lord, we pray the grace, the power of God, Amen. the anointing of God, the protection of God will continue to end upon our lives all our days. This we ask in the name of Jesus, in the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. May the peace of God be upon us today and forever in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let us share the grace. The grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us God forever and ever. Amen. Shall we God goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let us share seven powerful. Amen. 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 Seven powerful. Hallelujah. 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 Go. Go in peace. Have a wonderful New Year's. God bless you all, viewers all over the world. Go in peace. You are all blessed. Happy New Year to you all. Happy New Year. How did you guys enjoy the New Year? Happy New Year. Happy, happy. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by. Thank you, thank you. It's Grace. Thank you for stopping by. Bishop Fijegan, thank you for stopping by. James, our thank you. Our beloved wife. Happy New Year, Melinda. Thank you everyone for stopping by. God bless. God bless. God bless those who are not um, I'm unable to see. Thank you for stopping by. Happy New Year. We love you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Shalom. Hello YouTube. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to share. As you continue to do so, God will bless you. Have a wonderful day. Shalom. Bye bye.